Let's see. I need a logo. What would be a good logo for this? Um... Here we go. All right. So this is this is Japanese indie games. They're weird. Some of them are trashy. It's a collection made by Red Jackal, who made The Room of Room's Room a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, it seems kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to play one with a good title first. I need cncs32.dll. This happens a lot. Some games just need this guy. I don't know why nervous does. Okay, I've got it. So this first Japanese indie title is called Daksu. Warning, games could get a little loud. So if you have any sense, you will not have the volume all the way up in headphones. Please, dear God, please. Um, hus hustle game? Oh boy. Yep, here you go. This this is the this is the quality that we'll be seeing tonight. Oh shit, it's snake. It's just snake with ducks. was Looney Tunes, but except just that Quack. instrument. That was like fart Quack. instrument. I'm going to beat my high score and then we'll check out the next Quack. one. Now there's a lot of games in this pack. Quack. And, um, well, Red Jackal did such a good job Quack. with the room games that I didn't even bother vetting this or um, asking Sphinx to vet it. So, this is totally blind. We'll see. We'll see. You can't even touch a wall. Name... Ducks... Duxy. I'm... Yeah, see? My name is Duxy. Hey, man. Hey, I don't have anything to say. I'm just saying, hey, man. Nice shot. Oh, this is this is fucking weird. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to read some of these games. I hope you understand that. This is AO Returns. And I'm already experiencing, like, there's a configuration file that has buttons bound to, like, question mark. Press a button to start. Okay, I'm pressing the A button. I'm pressing... Pressing multiple buttons. There's a readme for this? Okay, thanks. Okay, so this is the readme. Helpful. To be certain. Oh, oh, I got, I got a thing. Hang on. 
Oh, oh, oh my. This is, <laughs> this is the end of One Punch Man as a character. This character is so much better. Patrick, is that you? Sugoi. Vinny, how do you know about One Punch Man? Secretly, I've watched every anime ever made. Or it's just such a big anime that almost everyone knows about it, just by osmosis, if you are on the internet in any capacity. I'll let you figure out which one. It's something, the answer lies somewhere in between those two. So I noticed that this dude, I don't know if it was a teeth attack? Yep, that's teeth. That is teeth. That's fucking disturbing. Collecting baby bottles, though. Yeah. Music is predictably insane. For such an insane looking game. Should have never freed you from your prison. I don't even- I don't even have to stop punching, ever. Hang on a minute. Am I gonna actually complete a level? I know this music. Get the fuck on out of here. Some classical music's like, you know, in there. Uh huh. What, what a Sugoi game that, um, that you can't, you can't even see the drowning is amazing. You can't even see what's around you. You have to just make leaps of faith. Yeah, the, the camera is is pretty uh pretty bad for this. Almost unplayable as a result of the camera. Hmm. That's AO returns and that's a fish. Bill is next. The world's first game about Bill Trinan. I have no idea if it's about Bill, Bill Trinan. If it is, I will eat a pant. A full pant. You have my, my promise. Thank God it's not about Bill Trinan. Jesus. Uh, stage one. Got a new woman. Found her in an old bar.
Do I win? Game clear. Oh. It's an alien. Goodbye, head! Not enough. I understand it now. You have to destroy the thing that's in the way of the solar panel. Do you see that? And you have limited bombs with which to accomplish this task. That's just a failure. This is actually kind of cool. It's a little, well, it's a little shitty, but the concept is neat. You can't have it hit the thing either. Let's try winning. That's a good trick. I don't think the rubble can destroy the solar panel. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I, I'm gonna count that as a success. I did it. That one was relatively easy. Is that it then? That's pretty cool. Surprisingly good. You need to fill- it says solar gauge, so I know that's a clothesline, but... I thought maybe it had to, like, you had to get the sun on the solar panel? But maybe it's just a towel on a clothesline? It's drying laundry. Sure. Maybe- yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's drying laundry and you need to give it the sun so that it can dry. Short. Whoa. Short! Very short game! Short and sweet. This one's called Desuwa. Desuka. Death Malu Molu. <laughs> what? What? Am I an anime girl shooting people with an Uzi? Not <laughs> just people. <laughs> Holy shit! It's so violent. I love it. What's happening anymore? And I love it. It's good. Donkey should I? Oh. I'm just happy I get to shoot anime in the face. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that. People are gonna take that serious. There's gonna be a lot of people with anime interests that write me very strongly worded letters. Binyorto-san, I like anime. That comment you said made me sick to my stomach. Is this, is this supposed to be the Victorian era? Because they're dressed like Victorian. It looks Victorian, but they have rocket launchers and butcher's knives. And I have an Uzi. 
been your toe, Sam. Why are you such a baka towards anime? I think they're shooting each other by accident. <laughs> nope. Just not up to snuff. But now we can watch as they destroy each other. Well, that was surprisingly interesting. This is a very... Okay, this is a surprisingly good collection of, like, good games. It's not just bad, it's good, too. It's amusing. The name of that was Desuwa. D-E-S-U-W-A. Desuwa. Uh, Duxu was the worst of all the games so far. This one's called Dynamic Drill Man. Nice to have an English option. Okay. This game, anyway, the ground by a drill digging in the ground. The game which gets the treasure is deeply. <laughs> There's a button that's just called dead. You can get power up by using the coin I have got during gameplay here. <laughs> Google Translate, it tries so hard. Press C, press V to next attack. It's funny because the Z key doesn't actually do the boost. <laughs> not money. <laughs> you don't have money. Not money. Ok, 
Okay, you don't want to go for the green stuff. I thought the green stuff was good before. Like, I thought it was like Mountain Dew. Boost is only when it's totally full. Alright, well, let me, let me priest, priest V then. This is also a surprisingly great indie game, you know. Like, if this was a cell phone game, I'd play it. Oh, so that's how that works. Has a, yeah, has a down well vibe to it. Has like a flash game kind of vibe. I mean, it's good. When boosting, a drill becomes huger. Move speed. Traverse speed is raised. I gotta read this stuff. The maximum of the energy increases. The acquisition money, which is at the time of ore, get, increases. Damage of a poison is reduced. Booster speed is raised, and I also have the energy convalescent function. I, I feel like my brain yacht just fucking exploded. The effect of two kinds of convalescent tank upgrades or increases. Sadly, you just, like, take damage, just for existing. Wait, which sounds about right. Oh, I wanna see traverse speed. Traverse speed is nice. That would've been a good first upgrade. Yeah, that game is awesome. I, I think it's great. I would recommend it, even if you just wanna fuck around and mindlessly waste some time for a couple of hours. It's good. It's called Dynamic Drill Man. So look it up and uh, check it out. Cool game. It's nice to have some good games this week. Home Defense Force. Remember, this is kind of a grab bag, so we might get trash, we might get weird, we might get good. We might get fish. Suddenly, double music. What happened? 
Do we get some, um, some vine risening? Uh-oh, hopefully that's not an ill omen. Have I returned? Okay, yeah, we had, uh, apparently we had a momentary Vine Ryzen. But I think, I think we're okay. Just refresh, tell people to refresh. Well, don't, because everyone's saying it anyway, so. Holy shit. This is... this... yep. That's not a bowl of eggs, is it? Like... Insect eggs? What in Crust's name... ...is this game? Why you can jump? Kinda. You need stamina. Bowl of oranges? Doesn't seem like I can destroy the oranges, I just have to survive. All right, well, I, I accept this challenge. Why does it look rot? Like, green rot per orange. Getting body harvest flashbacks. Man, Rich Evans fucking hated body harvest. I think it's one of those games you have to grow up with. When it first came out, it was like, NO WAY! Now it's like, please, no way. Get it out of my face. It's not a terribly exciting game, this. I think my machine gun just got upgraded. Maybe. I think that's what this is. Yeah, it did. Temporarily. Secretarily. Someone, uh, tweeted... ...to me that they put... ...like, $20 into a jukebox and played Temporary Secretary at a bar for like, nine hours. And I'm like... ...yeah, but I didn't tell you to do that. Was that an M&M? No, it was an almost M&M. Like, I can see it now. Who's responsible for this? Nine hours of this? The, uh, Vinny, uh, Vinny Vine Sauce? He's responsible. Now it's getting a little more challenging. I'm actually taking damage. The enemies are getting more... Uh, crazy. Need health. Big health. Nice. Fifty seconds. Wow, this 
is getting crazy. Do I still play Stardew Valley? Nah, I don't. That's not to say I wouldn't go back to it. Maybe the multiplayer update will get me back in, but I'm good for now. I get bored of games. I haven't even played Monster Hunter this week. There we go. And you're rewarded with some nice music. Vinny, thanks to you, I started calling my cat, Cat Yacht. Okay, again, I'm not responsible for that. I didn't tell you to do that. That poor cat has to go around with the nickname Cat Yacht. Nice. That was good. Nice good music. Next is Iyashi. Brother of Yoshi. Possibly not, but let's just say it is. Oh. <laughs> yep, this is a weird motherfucking collection. Like, I'm, I'm looking for more buttons. There's a strafe button. Very limited controls. Oh, but you do have a power attack of some kind. I'm ready. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> what? Again, if the controls didn't suck, this would be probably great. Well, I mean, comparatively great. It's extremely weird, but I will go for another 20 seconds or so. Next, someone's gonna go and in, uh, pop into chat and say, Hey Vinny, because of you, I named my dick Dick Yacht. That's gonna make the chat turn real nice for the next two minutes. Cock Yacht. How about Yacht Rock? You know what that is? Rock music designed for people with yachts? Just- just call yourself Yacht- Yacht Rock. Soulless, ballless rock music. Yacht Rock. Most of it. There's some exceptions. There's exceptions. Anyway, what are we doing? Next game... Farika. P.F. Farika. Farika. Okay, let me get this out of uh, full screen. That's not the game. That's the game. That bass, though. Come on. Let's start the game. Start the.
Huh. It's a little, little too Hoovian, which is fine. I'm not sure what the anime girl was doing there in the beginning. <laughs> None of this seems to have anything to do with that anime girl, but I don't know, maybe there's a story? Blah. 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 Huh. I'm absolutely terrible at this. It's got a very clean, clean art style. It's very smooth, very simple. It works. For, you know, it it, ex it excels at at what it you know what it is. I don't know if that means anything. It seems like a relatively vapid and empty sentence. It excels at what it is. I guess what I meant is, um, it's, it accomplishes what it sets out to be. <laughs> Could you imagine if I wrote reviews? My review of the game would be something like, it is what it, but what it be. And then the, uh, summation would be, it, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And that's it. That's the review. Play the game. Alright, it's, it's nice. It's a nice game. Pure Fighter Erica is the name of it. Okay, so that's actually, so it's P.F. Erika. As in Pure Fighter Erica. It, it comes with some midis, so we can listen to some of the midis. I can't make it any lower. That's a good enough song for me to go into the next game, Shamrock. See how professional I'm sounding? Meanwhile, deep down on the inside, I'm slowly falling asleep and dying, as we all are. In a long enough time scale, of course. Nice upbeat Sunday stream, so you can forget all your worries before the work week. That's what I'm here for. I, I swear I'm not that nihilistic. So let's do as shamrocks are. Irish pub Patrick's. Is this a Japanese person's view of what Irish culture is? I wonder. How are you exactly what it looks like. Oh my. <laughs> Whoa. How about this? It's a music game. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes! Do 
but there's monsters and stuff? Is this supposed to be Ireland? Is this what Ireland is like? You're a songwriter with three days left to live. You have to make as many songs as you can before you die. Is that the story? What are you? What are you? Catface, please. And that's really the story, and I, I was just talking about, like, everyone, you know, dying and stuff. It's almost like the game knew. Just hovering. They certainly took a nice minimal approach. I don't think these music notes are in line with the rest of the song. They are rhythmically fucked up. Somewhat. Not all of them. Great. I go for the green one, I miss the green one. I don't know how to feel about this. This is so fucking weird. It's oddly hypnotic and somewhat... decent? It's also really boring? <laughs> um... I don't- I don't know how to feel about this. I'm very- I'm- I'm I'm a little ambiblibum. I guess the word decent applies in the sense that it's not your usual Sunday trash, like you can play it. It's, it is a game. You know, even if you are a bit ambient, which is of course what I meant to say in the first place, I feel like a sleeping pill. I guess you could say it accomplishes what it sets out to do, which is to put me asleep. Instant death. go on to the next game surfer king Surfer King. You want to check out my friend Funky Kong? Even the sound effects are like cool dude bro sound effects. It's it's quap on a surfboard. Holy shit. There's too much stress being applied to my fucking hamstring. I'm going to lose it. The foot is just gonna come off. No, I'm good. See, we good? I'm surfing. Surfing good. <laughs> what do you mean to say that's not a normal surf position? Alive. So 
Someone in chat just asked me if I've ever bullied people in high school. No, I was never that. <laughs> why, why the random question? Does my commentary of me picking on video games seem to apply to me bullying people in high school? I know bully. I never bully. I only bullied one person in my life. His name was Shit Shack. That was his first name. Yeah, dude... Dude was a real mess. I got this. Oh! No, 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 I got this. I got this. The foot has to be amputated, but I got this. <laughs> uh, I'm lying. I didn't know anyone named Shit Shack. But if I, if I did, you can guarantee I would have told their ass that they need to change their name right away. Alright, my dudes, I hit a high score. Vinny, were you bullied in high school? No. I wasn't, though I did get punched in the stomach once in the hallway. It was a... blackout. <laughs> and I don't think anyone could see anyone else. And we were removed from the classes to go, and someone was walking by punching people in the stomach. And by the time I realized what happened, the dude was gone and... blended into a, the background of... Um, dozens of other people. I told the story on stream a couple times. Jellyfish. Oh shit. I'm what? <laughs> I'm one surf man. Oh, oh god, please. What about the guy named Dicklepiss? That was grade school, and I didn't actually pick on him. I might have called him Dicklepiss once. Maybe twice. So yeah, I guess I bullied, but not high school. Alright, I called someone Dickle Piss in grade school twice. I'm a confirmed monster. I I'll have to... I'll have to think about my life choices. What the fuck? No, I didn't come up with the nickname. That was just what everyone called him. It was a shame. I told you yesterday, I, or maybe the day before, I don't know what happened to poor... Nicholas. I don't know what happened to him. He more or less seemed okay with the nickname. Oh well. I wish him well on his journey to... own up to his nickname. And I will- I will go to church, and I will light a candle and rip, and apologize, and talk to my local priest about my sins. I will. What about Candle Kid? Oh, you remember that? There's a dude whose parents sold candles and people picked on him because he's it's, it's like... <laughs> they- he didn't sell candles, the parents were door-to-door -door salesmen. Like, they sold vacuums and stuff, but they made fun of him and said he sold candles, even though he didn't. Alright, I didn't realize that surfing game was going to turn into life stories with, with Vinny, but... Anyway, um, I'd like to thank the person earlier who sidetracked the entirety of my commentary for the past five minutes. Congratulations. Um, bullying is bad. Okay. Unless... No, there is no unless... Okay, no, ne never. It's not good... Unless you bring dildos to school. I wouldn't recommend that. If you do that, you might be opening yourself up to some... ...some problems. Don't- don't do that, okay? Alright, let's get going. Let's- let's move on to the next one. Waku... ...BGTBL. There was one kid who got bullied because he put his ball through the door. 
like he put one ball through the door of an ongoing classroom and the students started noticing it and then the teacher noticed it and went to go close the door on the ball which would have been probably the worst thing in the history of things ever but he had escaped by then I don't know he said it was a tumor it was weird high school was weird anyway it, it was uh, moving on to the next game waku waku vegetable I, sw I swear to god that's that's real that's not I'm not just making that up I don't have any other outrageous stories maybe a couple but it was insane he, he didn't yeah he was yeah it's just one of those things anyway here's another game in the Japanese indie game collection waku waku vegetable oh get some ragdoll physics and everything it's kind of good I'm a, I'm a vegetable man. I'm the vegetable man, the vegetable man, the vegetable man, the vegetable man. I can eat vegetables as fast as you can. I like it. You gotta deliver the veggies. But what happens to the vegetable man? Does the vegetable man also get eaten? Turns out we never really left Flavor Town. In like 10 minutes, Guy Fieri's gonna show up and I'm gonna be back in the woods. Do not eat the vegetable man. Ah! Vinny, your one ball story made me laugh so hard, I started to cry while playing Dark Cloud. That's cool. I've told it on stream before. Probably, there's not a whole lot of other detail. Except that the teacher started laughing a little bit. Which then made it okay. In a way. Because... Even though the teacher was pissed, there was no, like, real official reprimand. It was just an attempt to close the door. Okay, we're done talking about the ball story. Okay. Oh, shit. A vegetable's worst nightmare. Sides. So welcome to Castlevania 64. You know the crazy thing is that this game has tighter controls than Castlevania 64. What about the kid that was jacking off in class? Oh yeah, there was a kid that- how the fuck do you guys remember this stuff? There was a kid that got expelled because he was jacking off in class. So, that was freshman year. Okay. Speaking of fresh, take a look at these fresh vegetables. And not at all anything to do with testicles. To what? I don't know, dude. Maybe just to the learning. Education. You know? Why punish someone for learning and getting really into- okay. Next is uh, Zenkaimura. Zenkaimura. Oh no. Oh no. Look at that. It's a buff cherry. <laughs> is this like dungeons and. Uh, or rather, uh, ghouls and goblins. Yes, it is. Ghouls and ghosts, ghosts and goblins, you, you... Oh, I click- 
closed it by accident. It was just really loud. I just want to lower the game a bit. If I can, it's not popping up in my volume mixer. According to my volume mixer, this game does not exist. Oh, here we go. Frog. Next person that mentions Apple Dave gets pistol whipped. You can't see? What a cool game. What a solid game. At least you got to hear. Ooh. Sorry about that. Um, I had the window capture still active from the previous uh, instance of the game, and it, it kind of just didn't work. So. You like how the game is still as loud now as it was before? H how? How? I have to change the volume every time I load the game. See, wouldn't you rather just have the fish? And I can't lower it because there's no pa- Okay, there is a pause. Hang on. Okay. Spacebar was paused. Right, the exact weapon I didn't need at that time. And I exploded into juice. It's all right. I like it. I don't. I don't hate the game. I think fans of ghouls and goblins and um, knobs and boblins would very much enjoy this. But I don't. Um, this triangle weapon is it's tripping me out, man. Manga ink. That's a weapon in this game. Wow. I'm throwing... I'm throwing people. Wow, I love the weapons in this game. This is... this is quite glorious. And then just bomb, which is actually kind of cool. In a different way. Lots of different weapons. Yeah, this is this is pretty great. It's a little difficult, but then again, so was its inspiration material. Source material. Crowbar. Oh, no. Whip. It's just Castlevania whip. Oh, and I'm dead. But I get to keep the whip. Well, the peas are at Amame, right? That makes me sad. It makes me wonder where the Edipape is. It's probably not the first time I've made that joke on the stream. But, uh, I say... Joke in inverted commas. 
Also, some of these scroblins are wearing their asses on their front. I killed them! The Edamames! And not just the Edamames, but the Edapapes! And the Edda children, too! Okay, now that's by far- <laughs> that was- That's by far the worst thing I've said. I knew what I was doing when I said it. So this dark claw thing is pretty terrible. I think it locks on, but it mostly locks on to the sky. Cool game. A little cheap. A little cheap looking. But I quite like it. I like the variety of weapons, of which I just missed one, and I'm very sad about that. That looked cool, whatever it was. Cherry juice explosion. Okay. That'll be enough. The resolution was really, really small, so I had to, like, like sit right up to the monitor to see it. But, not bad. Yeah. So, give me a second. And we'll move on to the next game. Unco Race. Good. Okay. What? 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 Wait, wait a minute. Unko is shit. Unko equals poop. Good. Why does it take so long to get into- Okay, there's the story. Okay. It's even better when I don't know what's happening. So as soon as you fail, you're pretty much- This is how long it takes to get back into the game. Alternated the keys. I pressed the button before. Okay, I think I've had enough of Unko Race. Thanks. I don't think there's anything that we could see that would bring us any closer to some kind of truth about the existence of humanity by getting near the poop. Something tells me it wouldn't be worth the time spent. So we're going to move on to the next game, which is simply called...
Okay. Um. Wow. Wow, that's loud. Uh, that wasn't Kevin Bacon, was it? Let's see. Um. Ah. Uh. What? Why am I teleporting? It's like Donkey Kong, but it did <laughs> It's like Donkey Kong in all the ways that Donkey Kong is not. I found the jump button, I think. And it's another fart. Wow, this is... This is impressive. How many games tonight have had that sound effect? Continue? Yeah, let's continue. I'm ready, yeah, let's continue. I've pressed many buttons. Sometimes the buttons jump, sometimes they fart. Oh, I found the jump button, finally. I found it. It's, uh, it's, it's H. J, I mean J. I think you have to build gas and then fart on- on the anime dudes. Yeah. And then you combo into them. With- okay. That doesn't explain why my character looks like Donkey Kong Kevin Bacon. Oh no! Oh boy! Send help. S send help. The song sounds like Come On Eileen when it first starts. Uh, yeah, so you- yeah, they turn into, uh, rocks or meteorites that- or poop? I'm not sure, I don't- this is- I, I guess it's safe to say that this is the- in the weird portion of the collection. different stages. You got pirate ship, you got pirate ship, you got pirate ship, you got more pirate ship, you got pirate ship, and p this is Pantu. P-A-N-N-T-U. Uh... It, this is the last of the games that are in a folder, so there's that. And I do want to start streaming the longer games too. So, okay, then... This is- this is Flappy Chopper. Pansu-chan? Pansu-chan? Okay, you have to get- you have to get the panties and avoid the tidy whities That is... remarkable. Why am I helicopters? Not one, but two. Previously three. I don't even want to 
play it anymore. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, 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 you should see. It, it's... <laughs> okay. The actual title of the game is here. Uh... So that's the name of the game. It says Pantu, but it's actually Panties Rescue. Accurate. Very good. So I don't know if these are gonna work. What's an ink? Oh, I got. Oh, okay. That's it. That was the last one. Um, all the rest that aren't in a folder are just shortcuts. So we're we're done. That's the collection, which is perfect. That'll give me enough time for a quick BRB, and uh, then I return with something a little bit longer form. It'll be like a two-hour game that starts out one way and gets really, really weird. This was recommended by Vigibum, and I think uh, I trust his tastes in weird games. So I'm excited to check it out and at least see what what's going on. It's called Close Your Eyes, but you should keep your eyes open because I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Stephen Merchant would groan if he heard me say that. He would just be like, oh, God, that was awful, Rick, please. All right, we'll be right back. I'm going to take a quick break. And um, close your eyes up next. We've been doing so many shorter form, you know, like corruptions or like mini games that I, I figured it was time for something that takes a little bit longer to get into. And this is perfect. So see you in a minute. Thank <laughs> you. 